Hey guys and welcome to the Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide series. In this video I'll be going through all of the basic features on how to find expired domains for your niche whatever region you want them in. Okay so I'm going to assume that you already have all your proxies set up if not you can uh, click on the, the setup video uh, that will show you how to set up your proxies and your threads and all that good stuff. Um, basically once you've got your proxies in just make sure that you select the, the use primary proxies the auction searching quality checking searching expired and then basically DHG knows to use those proxies for everything uh, apply and save the settings and you're good to go if you want that in more details you can see the video it's in this playlist so you can check that out okay so once you've got it all set up um, this is the the uh, tabs that you are going to be interested in you've got the expired domain hunter in your main tabs here and the the one to find uh, domains in your niche is the hunt expired domains from keywords tab okay but first I'm going to show you the location controls and how you can get domains in your area okay so here you can see you've got a list of countries um, it's currently set for Austria, but I'm going to change that back to um, uh, I'll go United Kingdom. That's where I am. I'm going to leave it as the language. Language. I'm going to leave as English. Okay. So that will find websites that are based in the UK and on the English language. You can actually mix and match these, but you'll find that you get better results sticking with the language for your country, but you can change it if, if you have a, a specific need to. Like, for instance, in Canada, you can either have English or French um, and things like that. So you've got that. You've got footprints. You can add or remove any footprints here to find different uh, domains. If you don't really know what you're doing you're, or you're not sure what these are all about, you can just leave them. You'll find that you'll get a lot of um, uh, you'll get a lot of, of domains if you just leave those in. Or you could enter in whatever footprints you want or feel that you'd be better off having. Okay, and um, you can select whether to use Google, Yahoo, Bing, two of them, three of them, or one of them. It's really up to you. And also you can change the, the date range for the search results. So say you wanted to just get search results from oops, 2005 to 2007, you can do that. So say you're looking for domains in the smartphone niche and you wanted to find um, domains that were, were ranking before the iPhone came out for instance, you could probably do something like that. Or if you wanted um, any other date range for whatever reason you might find you get uh, different results when searching a different date range so there's those controls for this example I'm not going to use the, the custom date range I'm just going to go straight for a UK English I'm going to apply and save the settings there so take that back up and now all we need to do is enter in our search keywords here now you can enter in as many keywords as you want um, and so on and so forth but for this example I'm just going to leave it in as um, one search keyword and that keyword being cheese so to enter in multiple keywords you do a comma no need for a space just do the comma and then enter in your extra keywords you can actually enter in as many as you want there's no limit so you just go for it like that crawl levels you can set this up as high or as low as you want if you have it set as naught then DHG will just get the search results and then check the domains that are in the search results if you set it as crawl level one it will get the results and then check those um, pages that it's found to see if there are any expired domains on those pages if you set it at two it will then look at all the pages linked from those search results pages as well and so on and so forth so the higher the crawl level the longer the the process is going to take but it should um, return more domains the higher your crawl level is set up for this example I'm gonna leave it set as one because that seems to be the most efficient um, way of searching for domains in that you get 
more domains for your time at a crawl level of one. You're not going to necessarily exhaust all your options for the domains. So say you're going away for a weekend or something, you might want to set that at a crawl level of three or four, maybe even five, and then hit start. And then when you come back for, from your, your long weekend, you might have um, quite a few thousand domains, for example. But for this, uh, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave that set as crawl level one, and I'm going to hit search. And from here, you can see that DHG is going to do everything for me. It's going to do all of the searching for the search results. So what it's doing now is it's going through Google, Bing, Yahoo. It's alternating through them to make sure that the proxies aren't getting burnt out in any particular um, search engine. What it will do is there's a search delay set in the settings and what it will do is make sure that a proxy isn't used any more often than once in that time period. So it's really making sure that your proxies aren't going to get burnt out. It's alternating between the different proxies and also the search engines. And it knows when um, a certain proxy has been used in either Google, Bing or Yahoo. So it makes sure that the proxy is only used once in that time for each search engine. So as it's going through, you can see here it's done 135 out of the, the 200 full um, searches. And out of those 140 odd searches, it's found 5,000 400 um, search results when it's gone through that it will then do a, a dupe check on them and you'll see down here how many unique web pages it's got and then it will split those uh, web pages into unique domains and assign each domain a site and then it will go through crawling the different um, sites finding the different domains okay so you see from there we've got 5,279 uh, unique web pages. So now it's going to check each of the individual domains just to see if any of the domains that are ranking for those terms are available. Then once it's done that, it will then start crawling each one of them to find inner pages. And you'll see that the pages crawled will increase with that um, there. So what it's going to do now after it's finished checking all these, as it's crawling these, it will then start finding new unique domains and then it will start checking those domains. So you'll see shortly um, once it's started crawling these and started finding more domains, you'll find that it will start incrementing the current available domains amount. So here we're on the, the crawling phase and it will do the crawling and the checking at the same time but it will prioritize the, the checking of the domains. So um, really it's using the crawling as a way to <clears throat> as a way to keep the, the domain checking threads working. So it's been running for a couple of minutes now and we should start to see, there we go, the domains coming through. Um, now these domains already have their stats checked for page rank um, whether they're indexed in Google or not and also their Moz and Majestic stats. So the Moz and Majestic stats are you have Moz links, Moz trust, Moz rank and the important domain authority and page authority. Also you have the Majestic stats of Majestic links, Majestic referring domains, citation flow and trust flow. So all of those stats are checked fully automatically. You don't need to set up anything. The uh, API comes already set up. You don't need a, a Moz account anymore. You don't need a Majestic account anymore. It's all built directly into Domain Hunter Gatherer and it will check those fully as part of the, um, the availability checking phase of it. So really it's saying there's 14 domains. There could be a few more because obviously it takes a few seconds to find all of those stats but um, yeah, the rest of the, the process still continues on while it's checking the stats for those domains. So this is probably gonna go on for anywhere from five to 15 minutes. It's normally around sort of um, eight to 10 minutes uh, for a single keyword. Obviously the more keywords you enter, the longer the searching is gonna take and the longer the crawling and the checking is gonna take. But obviously you will get more, more domains at the end of it all. So, all of this is included as part of the pro license for Domain Hunter Gatherer. Um, as you can see, there's very little setup needed. I, I would advise to use private proxies. You don't need proxies as such, but the searching phase will take some time if you don't have proxies. And there are certain um, who is registers 
that will limit your um, requests if you try and do so many from a certain uh, IP. So if you're checking .com, .net and a few other domains like that then it's not really an issue. Um, the, the lack of proxies is not really a problem because they don't limit the, the number of requests. However, if you're checking for European domains like um, .co.uk, .fr, uh, .de and a few others like that and even .org, they do actually restrict um, requests to the who is register based on IP so I would advise getting some proxies now, if you're in the market for some proxies and you don't know who to get them from you can check out the um, exclusive discounts that we've got on the domain hunter gatherer website that's domainhuntergatherer.com and then in the navigation bar you'll see an exclusive deals link click on that and then have a look at the proxies I'm using squid proxies here they've been doing me proud for many years now um, I have used other proxy sources uh, all the um, providers listed on the exclusive deals page I have used one of those uh, sorry I've used all of those at one point or another and I have found them all to work very well so you can be sure if you're using one of those that you shouldn't have any problems so basically I'd suggest go there have a look at the prices see which one has the best deal for you at that particular time um, because the prices do vary based on how many you're buying and when you're buying them so do check them all out see which one's got the best deal and just go for those at a minimum I'd say 10 proxies will do you well but uh, if you can afford more generally more is better after about 50 or so proxies you start to get into the point of diminishing returns so if you've got 100 proxies great use them no reason not to but um, if you are on a, a bit of a budget then 10 proxies will do you fine um, so yeah I'm gonna cut the the process here and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the process when you've got all of the domains along with the stats already okay so here we see that Domain Hunter Gatherer has finished the the searching and availability checking phase and we can see that we have a list of different page ranks we have whether uh, the site is indexed in Yahoo or Google and uh, across here we also have the Moz stats and the Majestic stats. If you want to check the Alexa and um, social stats and things like that and the Ahrefs, SEMrush, you still can um, using the Analyze Domains option. Here you can check all of the different stats, you can recheck the Majestic and Moz if you wish as well. So from here we can sort the different columns by um, all, any of the different stats that you want. You can sort by page rank, um, Mars rank, whether they're indexed in Google or not, Yahoo or not. And you can also set filters for any of the different options such as um, top, level, top level domains, uh, that's whether it's .com, .co.uk, uh, .org, .net, you know, different things like that. And, as soon as you add one, I'll show you for example, I do go to UK and you see out of the 193, 57 of them were .co.uk's. UK's. Now that wouldn't necessarily be the case for yourselves because obviously I chose to search just United Kingdom. So if you've got it set for United States, you'll find that the vast majority of them would be .com. So to go through the, the domains, I'm just going to clear the filters and then you can see that the page rank four, we've got page rank threes, and so on. We've got high um, domain authority domains in different regions as well. You know, it's not just all from one different region, but that one, for example, networknirvana.com.au, it doesn't have any page rank. But this is one thing that is important to note that page rank has not been updated since 2013. So just because a site doesn't have page rank does not necessarily mean that it is one to be looked over. So as you can see with networknirvana.com.au for example, we can see that it has a page rank of minus one which means that there is uh, no page rank associated with it um, because naught is not actually the lowest, naught is the lowest once it's been assigned a page rank. Uh, a page rank of minus one just means that it hasn't been assigned a page rank yet. So as you can see, it's still indexed in Yahoo and Google and it has 
a domain authority of 43. It has thousands of referring domains and it also has a citation flow of 43 and trust flow of 21. So that's a very good domain right there and that was found you know, within sort of 12 minutes of searching with just one fairly random keyword to be fair. So if you were looking at different regions, you'd probably see similar results. So, you know, as you can see, Domain Hunter Gatherer is very easy to use, very simple to set up, and now comes with free Moz and Majestic stat checking. So, you know, for your um, £47 a month, you're actually getting somewhere in the region of um, £100 a month worth of Moz and Majestic checking uh, API checks alone. So. You know, when you look at it like that, if you were searching for all these domains by hand, you'd have to um, search for all of your uh, search results manually. Then you'd have to use another tool to crawl those pages to get all the domains. You'd have to remove the duplicates manually. Then you'd have to do all of the who is checks yourself and then, lo then load all of those into some sort of stat checker as well as then pay for your Moz account, your Majestic account. And before you know it, you're spending a couple hundred dollars on software. You're spending hours every time. And then you're also having to spend, you know, 150 quid, uh, 100 quid a month just on your, your Moz and Majestic accounts. So when you think of it like that, the £47 a month for Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro is very, very worthwhile. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. We've got lots more different videos um, showing you how to do the different parts in um, Domain Hunter Gatherer, whether you're wanting to look for Web 2.0 accounts or whether you're looking to search for um, domains with links from a specific website such as uh, WordPress, Wikipedia, BBC, CNN, Huffington Post, websites like that, um, then there is a video showing you exactly how to do this at uh, the YouTube playlist uh, that is linked below. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions regarding this video, you can post them in the comment section, create a support ticket in the members area, or email me at support at domainhuntergatherer.com. The expired Domain Hunter is included as part of the pro version of Domain Hunter Gatherer that is currently available for just £47 per month. For this you have unlimited use and no restrictions whatsoever of the entire Domain Hunter Gatherer suite of tools, including Web 2.0 Hunter and Domain Auction Hunter. On top of this there's a role in 30 day money back guarantee so if at any time you decide you don't like having access to the ultimate tool for domaining for gold, then just let me know and you will receive your last latest payment back in full. Once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.